I like to start my day able to greet my students as they come in and have an activity already set up that they can do independently so that I have time to interact with students and meet their needs in the morning. When you enter my classroom, some of the things you might see are students being very independent, knowing what they're supposed to do, being on task, being engaged, sharing their learning, showing excitement over their new learning. In all classrooms, it's important to establish routines so that students have an expectation of, of what they are doing, um, how they can respond to each other, how to make this classroom work in an organized way. So we have a morning routine where they come in with an activity. We also will go into student of the day where I will write a message to them and they'll find out who is the star of the day and who will be our line leader, who will be my extra helper for the day. Stand up for star of the day. Yay! Yes, I'm going to I might use our new words. What is my word? Oh, oh, yay! Yay! I'm looking for... Det reading detectives. Here we go. do a writing workshop time and we usually do start with a mini lesson they go out to do their writing we come back and share we'll do mini lessons for reading in workshop and sometimes they'll do independent reading but other times we'll be doing small group guided reading times in math time we'll go over a major concept we'll have mental math time we'll work on the calendar we'll count to a, a, a hundred each day and then we'll do some games to support that kind of learning so there's lots of things that are kind of part of the routine, but can be switched, just little pieces, so novelty stays a part of their education, too. Hi. Um, can I, I know this word. I know this word when I came to school. I believe it's really important to know where students are, what they know, and what they need to know next, so that I can build on the known. What is it they know, and where do we need to go next in their education? That way I can scaffold them in their learning in their next steps and they can move along the learning continuum much more quickly. I think it's really important for them to know the foundational pieces of writing and reading so they can be successful later. What do you hear? Um, okay, you listen. Can come Cars. 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 Let's do our, let's do our, uh, can I see you in just a minute? Chunk. Let's do our chunks. Let's do the first chunk. Cows. No. Let's do the first chunk. Cow. What do you hear? Okay, uh, say it. Cow. 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 You got cl. Are we putting them in order? No. Cow. Okay, let's do the first chunk. Cow. I also believe it's important to have a nice foundation in math. Number sense is the cornerstone of kindergarten learning, 
And so they have many opportunities to interact with math. We do mental math times. And they're just figuring out in their brains uh, how wor numbers work. We have lots of manipulatives for them to work through. We also have lots of game playing that allows them to interact with numbers many more times. We also, of course, uh, draw our problems. We use manipulatives to figure out our problems. Um, we illustrate our problems. There's all kinds of tools that students need to use to be able to really understand that learning. We sing songs that might help them have that counting order to remember the days of the week. Uh, so we use, I use a lot of symbol I collect a lot of songs and supports with technology so that they have a time to review and hear over and over again those foundational pieces of math. Can you find that tricky part? Because I don't see any page numbers on this book. Where was our tricky part? Can I see you in a minute? Starfall reading and book box reading. Oh, was that hard for you? Kitchen? How could we know this is the kitchen? Can we check the... My heart was Oh, it, that was your tricky part? And how did you know it was the kitchen? They have opportunity to read with groups of students, and I find out what they are working on and what our next steps are. And so if we've learned a, in a workshop a mini lesson in reading, I'll sometimes try to carry that over into our guided reading lesson too, so they are practicing those skills. Also, if I'm reading one-on-one -on -one with students, I'll work on some of the concepts that we've already been taught in class, and, and also just teach and instruct just to the errors or the problems that they're having in their reading. So each child gets some individual attention too. You're going to tell me who the characters were in your book, what the setting was in your book. Look at me, Jim. You're going to tell me what happened at the beginning, in the middle, and at the end. I believe parents are uh, a part of students' education. They're a real partnership there. And so I try to communicate all our learning here in the classroom through Seesaw. So they have a window into what we're doing here and that conversation could take place at home and that they will feel connected to our class and be able to also provide some stimulation for the children on those same topics in their own language. Hello. Some people are so fast. Write it. Write it. Ready? Sound. Show me. Dad.